For those of you that already have a background knowledge of Revit, you should know where the application menu is. However, if you've been using older versions of Revit and have moved on to a newer version, you might not be aware of the application menu. When you look at the Revit welcome screen, it's this big blue R up here in the top left corner. And if I click on that flyout arrow there, you'll actually see that the application menu comes up on the screen. Now what this does is it gives you a menu that basically applies to a lot of the default commands in Revit, such as a new Revit project. And I can just click on new and it will default to the default project template, or I can create a new project, a new family, a new conceptual mass, a new title block, or a new annotation symbol that I can bring into my Revit project. If I go here to open, it's the same process again. I hover over the open and it highlights in blue. And I can open a Revit project, a family, a Revit file of any type, a building component file, an IFC, and also any of the sample files, as you can see over here on the welcome screen. At the moment, I don't actually have a Revit project open, so I can't save. What that save does is it allows me to save directly to a Revit project file, an RVT file. If I hover over this one, I can save as a project, a family, a template, or save a copy of all the loaded families, the selected family group or view to my library. Can you see that there? The submenu is there. Again, because I don't have a live Revit project open right now, those are grayed out. If I did have a project open, I would be able to save that information. Export, again, grayed out because I do not have a Revit project open. But you can see that I can go to other CAD formats, such as DWG, DXF, DGN, and ASIS or SAT files. I can send it out to a building site file, an FBX file. Now that's a 3D view that takes it into things like 3D Studio Max, for example. Family types I can save out, GB XML files, which allows me to calculate things like room volumes and spaces. I've got a mass model. Again, it goes out to an XML file and allows me to work in 3D environments. I've got IFC there, and also I can save out to databases images and animations and reports and that also allows me to set my export options you'll notice there as well there's the report tools such as a schedule or a room area and images and animations i can do a walkthrough a solar study or an image if you're running the building design suite from autodesk you also get suite workflows available to you when you're running with revit and any other of the suites as well so this takes you into the workflow manager export out to things like 3D Studio Max Design and also Showcase there. I don't actually have a Revit file live, but I can publish and print my sheets if I want to. So you'll notice there, if I publish, they're all publishing to a thing called Autodesk Buzzsaw, which is a document management tool. If I print and hover over that, I can print, print preview or print setup, which are fairly self-explanatory. And if you're already working with Revit or have done the other Revit structure course from Infinite Skills, you will know how to print already. Licensing, very self-explanatory. That reviews the current Revit structure license status. And close, that will close Revit down and take you back to Windows. Now there's a couple of other buttons as well. There's this one here, which shows me the recent documents opened here. If I go to this one, it shows me any open documents of which there aren't any, obviously. And also here I can show by ordered list, by access date, by size, or by file type. I must admit I normally use by ordered list. I normally just use the default there. I can pin these open as well, you'll notice. So they're always there in the list. When we start looking at work sharing, for example, and data sets like that, you might want this pinned open because it's your central Revit project. You've also got the options, which we'll cover in a little while. And you can also exit Revit by clicking on that button there on the application menu. So there's a lot of things there in the application menu that are all very useful. And if you've used older versions of Revit structure or Revit in the past, you might not be used to the application menu, hence that short exercise on it.